fraud and it's costing taxpayers billions of dollars. On top of that, some California residents who need that unemployment most simply can't get it. Our I-team has been reporting on this for months now, and now some lawmakers are saying enough is enough. NBC Force consumer investigator Randy Mack tonight explains what they're trying to do. Scammers first started manipulating the state's unemployment system, or EDD, by stealing identities and applying for benefits. The result? Thousands of EDD debit cards were mailed to abandoned houses or homes with easy to access mailboxes like Sandy Martin's. Open the mailbox, there's eight of them. Eight of them the first day. Scammers went on to apparently hack EDD debit cards, swiping money from cards of citizens who need it the most. Patricia Moynihan lost seven grand. This could have put me in default on my mortgage. This could have put me under the 405 freeway with the rest of the people there. The collective billions of dollars in fraud prompted the state and Bank of America to freeze hundreds of thousands of suspicious accounts. The problem? Legitimate accounts were inadvertently frozen as well. And getting that money freed up has been nearly impossible for some. This is absolutely outrageous. Sharon Quirk Silva has joined dozens of state lawmakers in asking Bank of America for more transparency in how it determines which accounts are fraudulent. The bank wouldn't comment on if it will do this. But Assembly member Laura Friedman is focused on a bigger picture, changes at EDD, which she says will significantly reduce fraud and all the problems it's created. She's co-authoring a bill that would allow benefits to be direct deposited to bank accounts. You avoid the middleman, you're not mailing checks around, you're not mailing cards that can be intercepted and stolen, and you reduce a lot of the potential for fraud. And for cards that would still be issued, Friedman says they need to contain a chip, which is harder to hack, and something current cards don't have. Having the chips on those cards would reduce a lot of this fraud. After we reached out to Bank of America about Patricia's miss, missing money, they did refund her account. They also say that they've hired thousands of employees to help deal with EDD accounting information. And today they say that they actually have identified at least $2 billion in fraud. These are scams, cases that the governor's office says it continues to monitor and address with EDD. Reporting live in Chino Hills, I'm Randy Mack for NBC4 News.